Shalom Aleichem. Good evening. How are you doing guys? Yes, I'm live. Oh, what can I tell you? I'm going through so much. I'm going through so much. I can't even explain to you what I'm going through. It's impossible even to share how much a person can go through in a day. And uh, maybe, maybe I am. I wanted to say I'm not unique in that because I know you're all going through so much, but, uh, but I'm also unique. Also you're going through so much. And also I'm unique. That's the problem. We can all be unique. That's the most wonderful part in it, that we can all be unique. Different and the same in the same time. Okay, that's the entrance to Bibi's house. You know Bibi Netanyahu? Ooh, Bibi. Sweetheart. We love everyone. What can I tell you guys? So, let's talk Torah. I have a lot to say, but let's talk Torah, you see, checking, everything is cool, let's talk Torah, I'll tell you some Torah Bezrat Hashem. When a person, like I said many many times in my classes, that when a person is connecting himself to the roots of his soul so he's connecting himself to spirituality he's really connecting himself to the source of life to Hashem Barach himself and before a person is connecting himself from inside means before that he really feels that he walks with Hashem when you walk with Hashem you can feel Hashem presence you just you literally you feel it in your hands it's for a person that walks with Hashem so you cannot you cannot you cannot fool him you cannot tell him no listen maybe you don't have doubts you have doubts only when you forget Hashem but when you remember Hashem this is why righteous people and this is why it's a known thing and it's written on Moshe Rabbeinu that was when he was praying so he was like that he was lifting his hands in the air and he was spreading, opening his arms in prayer. And to tell us that that his hands were full with faith. When you have faith, when you believe, so then you grab Hashem, you just you hold him in your hand like that and, and you can feel his presence. You feel you feel Hashem. It's not something that no, yes, I read in the books that you know, I can see God, you can see God. This is something that, uh, that, uh, that people can, uh, can feel when they, when they go with Hashem, really. So, before the person is walking like that with Hashem, before that the person feels the connection with the Creator, really from inside and, and he knows it, so all of the time he is dealing with the physical world. All of the time he meets people and he's got situation and, it, and all of the time he's got enemies and he's got thoughts and he's got fears. But, and, and, and so he's suffering from being limited all of the time. All of the time he, he's obligated and he must and he needs and, 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 and he hopes that he will have salvation and he, he always suffer. <laughs> always suffer. Yesterday, I went through this st street, through this place, and I looked at that huge building, this wonderful hotel, broken, uh, abandoned, empty um, place that is standing like that for years. And I was looking at that place, and I was saying to Hashem, please Hashem, help us, please, let us buy a building, help us to buy a building. And then I looked at the top, I'll try to show it to you. 
I don't know if I can. I'll try though. And then I saw a crazy graffiti on the top. Ah, uh, you cannot see it, but here it says pray. <laughs> Hashem is saying pray. <laughs> you see, pray. You should pray. It's crazy. It's written in English. Who went to the roof and to the last floor and wrote pray? Ah, maybe it's Hashem. You see, so yes, Hashem wants us to pray. So, like I said before, when the person we need a building for the Amuna Center. We need a real building for the Amuna Center. We want to make a, a revolution. So for that, you need to have a Trump Tower. You need to have an Amuna building. Amuna with an H. Don't forget Hashem. A real Amuna. A real Amuna in Hashem. Amuna that Hashem in He loves you in unconditional love. Not a munah that you should be righteous, that Hashem will be with you. That's a huge mistake, a huge mistake that people think. And also a lot of rabbis are guiding through that advice. That you should be righteous, that Hashem will be with you. No. You should be righteous because that's how you're going to fulfill your destiny. But Hashem will love you if you will be righteous and if you won't. Hashem's love is an unconditional love and He will reveal Himself to you and He will open Himself to you and He will give you a hand no matter where you're going to hold. Like the Tana de Beliau is saying that heaven and earth are testifying that no matter who you are, Hashem is with you always. So thank God we're not falling to this mistake that even huge righteous people are falling to that mistake and it's only because that Hashem Yidbarach revealed His kindness on us and really opened our eyes to see that we came from the sewer, that we came from the, the, the swamps, from the filthiest places, from the bottom, from the lowest places of them all, we came. So if Hashem Yidbarach was with us over there to wake us up, that's a secret of the converts and the Baal Tshuva. That we saw that God, He loved us and He revealed His loving kindness on us also when we were down. Also when we were so contaminated and impure and, and far as from, from any understandings about the Creator. So if we saw that, that's it. We can stay close to Him and be humble even if we're arrogant. Even if you're a thief and you're hiding you can still scream and count on Hashem Yidbarach and Hashem will protect you. And Hashem will heal you, will help you, will guide you, will support you, will give you everything you need, everything that is required for you, for your development, for your growth, for your success. So, I wanted to tell you that Hashem is so sweet and He's always helping me so much. And he helped me to understand something very great, really an enormous thing, an enormous thing. That while the person is far from faith and he doesn't understand really what Hashem Yidbarach he wants from him, so that person always struggle and fighting. You want to see Jerusalem a little bit? This is Prima King, so oh, the nice hotel. This is Kikar Tzarfat. A French, uh, French, Chomrim Kikar, Circle, Isle, and Chomrim. I don't know, but we probably got this uh, as a gift from the French people. They love us so much. There are churches here, and a discount bank, and a lot of wonderful things. And over there, which hotel is that? I don't know. It's a very nice place. Yes! A place for the center. Yes, that's a place for the center. You're right. Thank you. Thank you, Bina Malka. Thank you for helping us. That's the center. Oh, the center of the world. The redemption. You see, 
Hashem is with us always. Look in the eye of truth. What you can see over there. Ooh, the temple. <laughs> Hashem is with us. So, while you're still very stupid and you don't remember Hashem, so in that moment, so you don't feel the inner power that you have. And what you do feel? You feel the limitations of the physicality of your body. Now we're going to cross the street and I'm going to show you this wonderful windmill that there is here. That's a big Chabad over here. Of course the Chabad Nikim, they got all of the gifts. The Lubavitch Rebbe, he blessed them big time. You see? That's a wonderful windmill. And here's the Bet Chabad Rechavia. And everyone are happy. Happy! Everyone are celebrating. Thank God we have Chabad. We have a windmill. We have me. We have you. We have a center. We have Hashem. So, like we said, when the person is still very silly, I'm going to watch my tongue. And he is not realizing that he is very well connected to the Creator. So he's always suffering from the limitations of his physicality. And he can be sick, and he can be tired, and he can be weak, and he can be confused, and can be scared and afraid, and have to run away, and always to hide, and to plan, and to think, and to whatever. But when the person is connecting himself to the Creator from inside, really, really, really from inside, until he reached that moment that he feels the presence of Hashem, he feels, wow, Hashem is with me. I am one with Hashem. Like the Rabbi Nachman of Breslev is saying, a person should pray in such a high level that he can say, may it be my will, yei ratzon milfanai, means that I'm going to answer my own prayers. That you become to be one with the Creator, that you understand that Him and you is, is one thing. So, when a person is really connecting himself to his spirituality, to his inner source, the source of his creation, to who that he really is, so in that moment, he can pull spiritual bounty, wisdom, from the world to come, down to this world, and to heal this world. And really to heal his body, through the light of his soul. This is the secret of all of the ancients um, uh, um, medicines, and I don't know how you call that, all of the, the Chinese and, and all of the wisdoms of the Far East. Through the meditation, through the inner connection to the source of energy, to the source of, of life, you're pulling, you're bringing down to this world amazing energy and power that can heal the world. And no one outside can understand what you're going through from inside and where you receive your powers from. Because like Rabbi Nachman said, that this world is, is, is confusing and people are falling to this confusion all of the time. People are losing their mind all of the time. They're falling into this fake world, world of coverings that are only covering the Creator all of the time and presenting to you many, many options of reality, of fake reality. Tells you, hey, you need to be rich. Hey, you need to be successful. Hey, you need to look good. You must be beautiful. Hey, you must work on your voice. Hey, you need to learn how to dance. Hey, you need to learn how to make money. Hey, you must go to college. Hey, you have to get married. All of those things, you don't have to. You know, Eliyahu Navi, he never went to college. I swear to you, he never went to college. Eliyahu Navi, he never went to college. And Moshe Rabbeinu, he didn't graduate the university. And Avraham Avinu, you know Avraham Avinu, he converted, he, he born a Goy. He wasn't a Jew in the beginning. Avraham Avinu 
only in the age of 99 he'd been circumcised, you know? Wow, Abraham Avinu. 99 years of his life. Most of his lifetime he was a goy. Ooh. Is it allowed to talk like that about Abraham Avinu? Yes, because it's the truth. What do you want? So you can be Abraham Avinu while you're not a Jew. Yes. You can be in the level of Abraham Avinu when you are not a Jew. Yes. Abraham he was a prophet before he converted. He was talking to Hashem Barach already before. He had long, long conversation with the Creator while he was a Goy, while he was not a Jew yet. Yes, reality. What do you want from yourselves? People are calling me. I'm receiving maybe 20 phone calls a day. I must convert. I'm calling the Beidin. They're not answering to me. I don't know what to do. What should I do? I want to convert. <laughs> you're Meshugaim. You're crazy. You lost your mind. Serve Hashem. What do you want to convert? Serve Hashem. I want to convert. I want... Okay, convert. <laughs> if it's going to make you happy, convert. You want to convert? Okay, look, that's a nice place. What does it mean? I don't know. Do you know what does it mean? It's a hand. Okay, we're touring. I'm your tour guide. I'm your tour guide. Here we are in the street in the neighborhood of uh, of the center. Guys, listen. You must believe in yourself. You must, must, must believe in yourself. You must wake up. You must wake up by yourselves. You cannot wait that someone will come and wake you up. You must wake up. Wake yourself up. Wake yourself up. Remind yourself that you have a soul. That you have an Eshama Elokit. And in that moment, start bringing down bounties. Start counting on your power of prayer. Start talking to the Creator on what that you need. Start bringing down bounty, Shefa, holiness, purity, beauty, health, success, wealth, whatever you need, whatever we need, whatever we need we are able to bring it down to the world through that amazing tool that we received from the Creator that calls the, the tool, the art, the, the, the tools of the artists, of our ancestors, the, their uh, crafts, how you call that? Their weapon, their tools that they were using. What was that? Prayer, tefillah. So just connect yourselves through prayer. Just talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend. Just talk to him. Just talk to him. Just talk to him and tell him, yes, I need you, please help me. Not to go and whine, and not to go and talk words from the mouth and out, and to say, yes, I'm accepting on myself, my sorrow, it's all for the good. Don't lie to yourselves, please, don't lie. Say to Hashem, it's so painful, I don't know how to deal with my sorrow. I need help, Hashem. Can you please save me? Can you explain to me what I'm going through in my life? Can you please give me the right advice? I'm trying to thank you and I suffer. I try to give charity and I keep on suffering. Something is wrong here, Hashem. Something is not working right. I'm trying to learn Torah and I'm still suffering. I'm trying to go to synagogue and I'm still suffering. I got married with my wife and it's still not easy. I have money and I'm working and I still have so many expenses. And I'm doing this and every person deal with the reality. You keep on trying to fake a certain kind of Avodat Hashem. No, I'm righteous and justifying the way that you work and explaining to yourself how good it is and how, how great it is. So why are you suffering? So why are you suffering? So why are you suffering? If really you're trying to do so much good, and if really Hashem is exist, and if really everything is supposed to be so successful, like you're presenting it to yourself. 
You're claiming that the Torah is the solution. And if I'm going to pray, I'm going to be answered. And if I'm going to give chat, Yeah, those are your claims. That's what you think, right? You learn Torah, that's what you got. So why is it not happening to you? Question, right? A nice question. So why won't we deal with this question? Why won't we turn to Hashem Barach and tell Him, Hey, you know, I wanted to ask you something. Can you please answer me on that? Can you please, or that it's not allowed to talk? The kingship of heaven is the kingship of, of, of heaven or hell? Kingship of heaven, you cannot talk? With the king of all kings, you cannot talk? With Hashem, you cannot talk like you talk to your best friend? So with who are we going to talk? So with who I should talk? If I'm not able to talk to my father, so who I should talk with? If I need to be afraid of the Creator, if I need to be afraid of Father in Heaven, so I don't want that. That's not my way. That's not my Father's way. That's not Father in Heaven's way. If I need to be afraid of the Creator, so I don't want to be created. Who needs to be afraid? Who needs to be terrorized and to live life of, of terror and, and, and horror and fears? You think that's Avodat Hashem? You think that's the way to serve the Creator? To be afraid and terrified? No way! No way in the world! We must commit ourselves to Him through love. Ve'ahavta et Hashem elokecha b'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha that you will love Him, commit yourself to Him with all of your heart. With all of your heart, even when you're down. With all of the powers of your spirit, the powers of your soul, to be ready to do whatever it takes to serve. Ignorant people are terrorizing their students and terrorizing their families and terrorizing themselves and destroying the, the, the real connection with the Creator. A connection that based on love, on purity, on loyalty, on honesty. No, now, if your back is hurt, you, you should pretend to be healthy. If your soul is broken, if your spirit is down, if your mood is off, if you're sad, if you're depressed, if you can't find yourself, so you need to, to, to act like everything's okay? That's nonsense! It's a lie! It's a fake! It's a lie! It's 100% lie! That's not the will of the Creator! Forget about it! That's a lie! To connect yourself to the Creator, you must do it with truth. The truth is that my back is hurt. The truth is that I'm afraid. The truth is that I need help. That's the truth. The truth is that I want to talk to Father in Heaven like I can talk to a person that I, I count on. To someone I feel that He loves me. At least like I love, my, my, love him, like I love myself. Someone that understands me, at least like I understand myself. And supposed to be even more than that. Someone, someone that will never going to be judgmental, that will never going to criticize me, that will never going to break my spirit. If that's not the Creator, so what are we doing here? Are we crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm sorry to let you down. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm ready to be called crazy. I'm ready that everyone in the world will call me, Oh, you're crazy. Look at him. Meshuga. He's crazy. He's contradicting. He's going against the Torah. Nonsense. We are the light of the Torah. I'm the light of the Torah. I'm revealing the light of the Torah. What are you talking about? And I couldn't care less what people will say. I couldn't care less what people will say. In the generation of Moshe Rabbeinu, all of the people were contradicting him. Everyone had something to say. All of the wise guys, they had so much to say. Wow! Everyone had something to say. If you're not going to believe in yourself, if you're not going to believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you. 
we must believe in ourselves. We must count on ourselves and to be who that we are and to be loyal to ourselves. We must. If really we want to achieve something in our lives, we must be connected to the real King of all kings, Father of mercy. Mercy, the meaning of the word mercy means that He will give good things even to people that are not worthy to receive that good. That's it. That's it. So He is the Father of that kind of mercy. That He is the Father means the source of of kindness, of love, unconditional love, endless love. Him I'm serving. I'm serving Him. And I'm not serving no one else. I'm not ready to be a soldier of a of, of bunch of important people that, that imagine to themselves like they're holding the truth. Shlomo Melech said, Amarti echkema v'yerechoka when I wanted to learn the wisdom, I realized that the wisdom is so far away from me. That's the wisdom that you're ready to learn from every person and even from the nations, even from Goyim, even from every person, even from people that never learned Torah, from simple people that got life experience and got simple understandings about life. From them I want to learn are working for their livings, for people, have, from people that have life experience that they gave, that they, they gave charity, that they know what it means to sacrifice. From them I want to learn. I don't 